So how to use a command block in Minecraft Bedrock Edition. So just go to your settings and make sure that the command block activation and the cheats are on. So that way you can use the command blocks. And now to obtain a command block, type the command you see on the screen. The command has to be exact or else it will not work. So type slash give as command block. And as you can see, you have one command block, but how do you use it? People just keep spamming things and just pressing random buttons on it. So but today I'm going to show you exactly how it works. So one example of a command is slash effect. To use this command, first place any redstone thingy on the command block and type in slash effect s -E all players or anything that you will see on the screen like uh, like the nearby players with what? What potion effect? For me, a speed and how many seconds? So twenty seconds of speed. How many? Uh, how many levels do you want? For me, it's three. Even though I spelled the number two for real, it's three. Okay, this is from my beacon from the battle arena. As you can see, you have speed three for twenty seconds. It is very fun going to the top speed, but if you don't want it, just change things. For example, like speed 20, you can run extremely fast. It is, it is trying out running over the speed limit or even speed for 255 level. As you can see, it's really fast. You cannot even control the character. It is really, really, really extremely hard. Yeah, but anyways, that's how you use the effect command. There's a lot more commands. To get rid of any potion effects that you got from the command blocks, are you, all you guys gotta do is drink a milk. As you can see, the potion effect is over. Oh, well, that's yes yeah, from my beacon. All right. You can also change it to different effects, like for example, jump boost. You can adjust any of the numbers or the effects. You can even be an immortal. So press this button, and I set the jump boost to. 255 yeah i said it. i made that the level of the value i i didn't think about the value i'm oh it's a good thing i'm in creative so i don't take any damage yeah but let's change it to jump boost 20 so effect the nearby players with jump boost 20 yeah that's a lot better jumping 20 blocks high i mean 21 bl blocks high it's plus one to get rid of the potion effect, are you gonna try to do it? Then you can get rid of your potion effect. Uh. And that is for the jumpu. Well, that is for the effect command. Uh. Try it with different effect. Try adjusting the number and anything you want, like this, which is gonna give you a lot more jump boost. And to get rid of it, yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna make sure it's recording slash game mode S like this. There we go, I'm in survival. Oh yeah, I forgot. Yeah, I'm in a photo. I can literally one shot anything. Yeah, I know, right? You literally one shot anything. Kill as many rattles as you want without taking a single ton of damage. You can really do all of that. As you can see, it is really easy to deal with one thing. Okay, we can't. 
slow through war days. I can run very fast with speed four. Now we're talking. Yes, Marina, we're talking. We're telling these war days. That's one of the only commands we can use. We can use a whole buttload of commands. Let's go. That you can use to fill in a large area. Or outline a structure. Now that YouTube does the bad ones that allow me to upload videos that are longer than nine minutes. So I can only show you the basic commands because I'm sorry, it's YouTube just so ask the community governments to find out why they don't allow people to upload uh, videos that are longer than nine minutes to get a new channel. Like, yeah? All right. One shot! Yay! To get rid of these effects, all you guys gotta do is drink a milk kit. Slashing chat. To use this command, all you gotta do is open chat. Uh, and hold the item that you wanna enchant for me is another right sword. Type in slashing chat. A ass of sharpness or any thing you want that goes on that tool five and the level which is for me is sharpness five as you can see i got sharpness five but it cannot be over the value like for example i i type sharpness six as you can see it didn't hold it because it cannot be over the value and it and sharpness goes on a sword or an axe but it doesn't go on any other tool so do uh, do not put sharpness on any other tool or else it's gonna say it's not working Slash summon any entity you want. So if you want to summon an entity, just open chat. Now type slash summon. You summon any entity. So for my entity, it's a zombie. So I'm going to summon a zombie. Like this. Zombie is pretty burning right now. You can do slash summon any entity, like for example, an arrow. As you can see, an arrow is successfully summoned. You can also use it on a command block, but to use it on a command block, do not use the slash. So just write summon at your entity, like for me, it's a skeleton. Activate. You could also put it in this trap that I showed in the last one. And why are you here? Hey! Hey, this is mine! Or you know what? Pickaxe attack! Boom! Alright, that was kind of awkward. Whatever. Anyway, so you make sure no item is in the hopper. Like I explained this trap in one of my last videos. You can even use a command block for me. Is something strong? Yep, type in something strong so that way the prank will be worth it. Like, like just take some time to remember this, okay? Yo, you'll remember this from my last videos. So cover this. Uh, all right. So now, when the your uh, yeah, when your target breaks the pressure point, like that last video instead of TNT. They'll keep wondering what this sound like for like what is that sound and then they dig down and uh, oh oh uh, this is uh